So while I'm in line waiting for my Starbucks, um, several videos back, I think it was, <clears throat> I told you guys that I n never had a dream about Johnny Depp, um, which is true, was true, uh, until last night. I mean, other than that one, like, flash vision, you know, and then the other thing. Anyway, but I never had a dream about him. Well... Last night, I actually dreamt about Johnny Depp. Um, and it was, um, we were on a, I want to tell you guys about it before I forget about it. But we were on a boat. Um, and, I don't know, we met through a mutual friend or something. And we, like, just became friends. Just, just friends. Nothing more. Just friends. Um, that's the sense I got in the dream. Um, and I had the sense that he was very protective kind of friend. Um, and then he wanted to take me, um, to the, one of the Hollywood vampires shows, um, backstage and all. And I was like, oh, I don't have a ticket. And, you know, kind of chuckled, like, yeah, that's not a problem, you know, and made sure I got what I needed to get in. And so while I was, like, in this room, there was, like, these stairs that, and a door that led up to the stage. And then there was this room at the bottom of the stage with, like, uh, sofas and stuff where, you know, some people that hung out. And um, <clears throat> something happened. I don't really know exactly what happened, but something happened, and they all came off stage, and Johnny came down and was sitting next to me, and uh, seemed really upset about something. Um, not like, uh, not really like sad upset. Uh, but, like, I um, don't really know how to explain it. More like frustrated, upset. And um, it was a dangerous place to be at the moment. So he, like, wanted me to leave. And um, and he was leaving, too. And we kind of... Uh, I lost sight of him, and, and there was some chaos. Uh, people everywhere, running everywhere. And, uh, and I woke up. Um, what's funny is I didn't remember the dream as soon as I woke up. It's as I was brushing my teeth and stuff this morning and getting dressed and all, I remembered the dream. Um... So, I don't really know. The part that really sticks with, with me is that one part where there's stairs leading up to the stage through a door in, in, from this back room, you know, and where all these, like, people in who were supposed to be there were hanging out. And, and I was there. Just kind of hanging out on the sofa. Um, and I could, you know, hear the music um, until the music, like, suddenly stopped. Um, that's the part that... Um, I, I remember that part of the dream. Starting to rain. And um, more than any, that's the part that sticks out more than anything else to me. So, again, I say, you know, when I had that little flash before of Johnny uh, Depp at the courthouse, you know, where I thought maybe something physically was going to happen to him, his heart, then it ended up, you know, later where he lost Jeff Beck. So, something did happen, but it was a, an emotional heartbreak. Um... 
And it's just, you know, sometimes, I, like I said, things happen to people in my dreams or visions or whatever, and I say something, whether I look crazy or not. So I'm just putting this out there because I don't have direct contact with Johnny Depp or really anyone, I guess, that could say something to him. So, um... I'm just putting it out there if I don't sound crazy. Just something, you know, keep in the back of your mind, you know. Uh, just extra security, maybe. <laughs> so, just, so that's the first dream I ever had about Johnny Depp. And it wasn't like a romantic dream. It was complete, like, this thing happened. And there was danger. It was a dangerous place, situation. And he was frustrated. Not sad, frustrated, not angry, just kind of frustrated at at something. So there you go.